and welcome back to another day of Listmas. Today we are continuing off of yesterday's video. We just took out this beautiful braid out. All I've done is throw on some makeup and changed into my outfit. If you're interested in this holiday glam tutorial that is coming for you tomorrow. But for this video, I kind of wanted to take y'all along with me over the next couple of days, maybe a week or so. I don't know. I honestly don't know how long this is going to last, but I wanted to take y'all along with me to see how this lasts over the next couple of days, the different styles that maybe we can do. I am shooting some holiday content today. I'm getting ready for my shoot right now. I literally need to leave here in 30 minutes, so I'm gonna have to put something together really, really quickly with this hair. Like now that I have my makeup on, I'm like, we could spice this hair up a little bit, so maybe let's do that. Let me actually go check what kind of cute clips I have and come back. All right, so let's see what we can do with these really big, dark, uh, Snap clips is what I like to call them. We might be able to get a little bit of additional volume. I don't really want the snap clips to show though. Nope, I hate it. All right, I'm literally just gonna finagle until I get something that I like. I actually like the way this looks. I just don't want these clips to show. And also I want this to be, I think we can make this also a little bit more slick. So crazy thing. Literally, I posted something on Instagram yesterday and I got a comment saying, have you noticed a difference in the Camille Rose curl maker? And in my head, I was like, no, I haven't really paid attention to it because I use it as a finisher gel. I never use that on its own anyway. So I wouldn't really notice much of a difference, but somebody was commenting on there and another person actually agreed with them. They're saying that the formula has changed and that they're not getting as nearly as much hold as they used to. And I just experienced the same thing because in my last video, you guys would have seen, I slicked this down. You can see it's still a little bit slick, but look, it's like just evaporated out of nowhere. And that is not typically what I get from my Camille Rose curl makeup. So I'm kind of thinking maybe they have changed the formula, which sucks because the formula was really great as is. It's very interesting that I just got that comment, tried it today, and then I'm like, wait a minute, y'all are right. Let me know in the comments if y'all have experienced the same thing with your curl maker. It's, I'm not happy about it. All right, so I'm basically gonna redo that cute style, see if we can just hide these a little bit more, and then we're actually gonna use some edge control here. All right, so I'm gonna lift this part up because I don't really want that to be gelled, but really it's just mostly this part. Brush it right in. Should we do a little design? I don't know. I don't even know if I have all the time for this. Okay. I just basically kind of divided it in half, did one up, did one down. I actually am kind of feeling that with the edge control, we don't really need the snappy clips. Let's see. Let's see if they make any difference. I'm actually going to try and snap it more behind my ear. It gives us a little bit more volume on top and I think I kind of like that. So I'm just going to crisscross this one kind of, oop, I don't know how to, which angle to come from. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I crisscross them so they can stay in place. What do we think? Oh, I think this is cute. And then I'm just going to fluff. I'm really liking this look with lots of volume. Ta-da! My cute holiday hairstyle. I love it. The more that I'm playing around with it, the more I am really, really loving it. I'm getting used to it, and I think it is so pretty. It's a vibe. I'm loving it. I'm feeling it. I'm happy so far. I'm just really curious to see how long this is going to last. But we proceed. Okay, it is nighttime now. It has been a long day of creating a ton of different types of content. And my hair is now like basically completely frizzed out. Um, I kind of figured it would be, I didn't use a lot of product and the product that I did use, that mousse we know already in itself doesn't have a lot of holes. But I still wanna see how we can salvage this and kind of like give it some more life. So tonight I think we're gonna have to bring out the big guns. Da, da, da. We gotta use the mousse def. This has lots of holes. And I just know we're gonna be popping and nice and shiny tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do tonight is rebraid my hair. I'm not gonna do as small as sections as I did before. Like these under here for some reason like still have pretty good curl definition. It's really just more like in the front hair and on top. But then we have this side right here that's completely frizzed out. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna braid my whole 
head all over again. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're kinda gonna do the same exact thing that we did when we were first styling it. Just go in directly with the mousse on dry hair. I'm gonna comb it through though and make sure that it's actually fully, ooh, fully saturated. So I'm hoping for tomorrow we wake up with a brand new braid out that has a lot more hold, it's nice and refreshed, it has more shine, and it's. I'm really hoping that we can actually get it to last us at least another day. I'm trying to go till Thursday. Today is Tuesday, it's Tuesday night right now. So if we can get till Thursday, I will be happy, I think. We'll see. These hairstyles, man, they are so high maintenance. <laughs> this is why you don't catch me doing different hairstyles all the time because this is a lot, okay? I'm glad I did it though, because it's pretty fun. It's, it's nice every once in a while to do a little bit of a switch up, but also like to do this all the time, won't be me. I'm definitely taking larger sections, mostly because I don't have the patience to be doing a ton of really small sections right now. Look at this, I'm gonna do this whole section as one big section. That's how I'm feeling tonight. <laughs> so I'm also going through and braiding as tight as I can, definitely tighter than I was yesterday or the day before, whatever day it was. Um, actually, yeah, that was yesterday. I still can't believe I'm having to rebraid my hair all over again. But you know what? This is how you live and learn. This is my first time doing a braid out and also any style on top of a blowout as well. So you gotta, you gotta learn. So I guess we're out here just learning together. Okay, here we are. Back to Travis Scott vibes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you know what? Just doing this, gonna hope for the best. I'm not gonna diffuse, blow dry, nothing like that. Just gonna literally leave it like this, go to sleep, wake up tomorrow, and hope for the best. My only consideration right now though is, what am I gonna do when I go to the gym? Because I don't know if I wanna go to the gym like this, <laughs> but I don't know that it makes sense to take it out before I go to the gym. So I don't know, I'm gonna think on that one and we will figure it out in the morning. Okay, good morning. I decided not to go to the gym today. I It was storming all night, so I was up a lot. I did not get much sleep at all. So I'm tired, I decided to give myself a rest day and it worked out because I did not want to go to the gym with these braids. Uh, funny, funny story. They uh, dried really weird last night. I just literally did it and went straight to sleep. And they dried like in all sorts of uh, different kind of ways so this should be very interesting <laughs> they feel a little um, definitely more stiff more hold because I did do tighter braids and then obviously with the mousse that we used um, it's not feeling as like nice and soft like blowout vibe kind of I'm not really feeling that anymore but we're not gonna know until we actually start taking these out so let's just start taking these out <laughs> Definitely already can tell there's a lot more definition in here. Look at that. What a difference when you actually use more product. You can see that my curls are more shrunk as well, obviously because they're more defined. All right, y'all, this is how we're looking. Talk about a completely, absolutely different hairstyle. We are looking completely different. These curls are super extra defined. Yesterday was very, very loose, giving more blowout vibes. Today is giving straight, shrunken curl definition. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how I'm feeling about this right now. What I do wanna see is if we can Bring up some volume, bring back the frizz. Like, some people might like this, but I like, y'all know me, I like curl definition with a good mix of volume, especially at this hair shape and length. Like, I feel like it, like, this is like not, it's not it. <laughs> so, let's see how we can pump this volume up. I'm literally just going to 
the love love and continue like separating and if we can get more volume i think this could actually look really bomb i'm also gonna go in with a pick how cute is this pick by the way have you seen a cuter one i definitely have not this is giving wig vibes <laughs> I'm totally getting wig vibes from this, like the super insane curl definition, it's just something about it is giving wig vibes. Oh uh, boy. So I'm gonna grab my Fakai Volume Lock Spray and see what this can do for us as well. Okay, I think this is probably the most volume we're gonna be able to get here with this. Um, for all of this work, I may as well just done a freaking wash and go, okay? Because it's giving like super curly curl definition vibes. I can get that from wash and go. So, <laughs> this is just like a wig looking version of my hair. I'm confused. <laughs> Y'all, this is why I just stick to wash and goes. These things are so much work and if it doesn't come out the way you want it to, it's like, just want to punch air. You know what? I think this might actually look a little bit cuter as a half up, half down style. I might do that because I am not digging. <laughs> I'm not digging it being all the way out. I'm just not. I mean, this is cute, okay? Especially with the edges, we're cute. I just know that I could have achieved this from wash and go. So that's the only part where I'm kind of like, eh, it's kind of annoying. So, so far I'm feeling like my braid out from yesterday was more holiday-esque, more holiday vibe. It was beautiful, but the fact that it only lasted me one day tells me that my technique was not 100% perfect. Of course, it was my first time doing it. I did think it was beautiful and I do think maybe at some point I'll try it again. But I don't think this was a huge fail because I did get cute hair yesterday. Even though it did only last one day, I thought it was nice. This today is just a regular old braid out, I would say. It doesn't, it's not giving blown out braid out. It's just giving regular old braid out slash could have been a wash and go. So you know what? I think that's actually, unfortunately, going to be the end of this video. I'm literally not gonna touch my hair. It's just gonna look like this for the next couple days. It's really gonna be nothing interesting to look at. Um, so really not exactly what I had planned, what I had in mind for this video, but we gotta roll with the punches. This is reality, right? You try things, your hair is unpredictable, you are doing things that are way outside of your comfort zone, you don't know how it's gonna turn out. And this is where we're at. I do, I am happy with how I look today though. I think this is cute. And that's the reason why I'm gonna keep my hair like this for the next couple days. <laughs> hey guys, you know what? I'm so glad that I went outside my comfort zone and tried something new again. Please let me know in the comments if you have any other like requests, like any other hairstyles you think I should try, any advice you think I need to try next for my hairstyles, whatever it is. Whatever it is, I will be chatting with y'all in the comments below. And don't worry, we have a ton of more amazing Listmas videos coming up next. So I will catch y'all same time, same place tomorrow.